This is the 2021 Lexus IS350. And if we take a look inside, this is what the new refreshed interior looks like. And snap back to 2018, and that's what the interior looked like two years ago. And back to 2021, and that's the difference they made in three model years. So take it for what it is. You have a new 10.3 inch touchscreen display up top, which does Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and also has Amazon Alexa compatibility. When you look down the center stack, you'll see the radio controls are still the same. So you have physical buttons for the air conditioning. You have a volume and track seeking knob on the left and right side. And the shifter, trackpad, cup holder, center console are all the same. When we take a look at the steering wheel, we'll see that nothing has changed there, as well as the gauges. Now, I will say this new circuit red color, which is only for the F Sport trim models, does look really good. And the seats look nicely bolstered. And the door cards have this cool kind of diamond scratch cut stitch, which looks nice. And you also get a red stitch that goes through the dashboard. So I think the interior looks good. It just doesn't look all that revolutionary. But one thing I do like is now you have the analog clock and a digital clock on the center screen, which really bugged me about the previous generation interior where you couldn't tell the time unless you were looking at the analog clock. Now, let's take a look at the outside of the car and we'll start with the front end. You'll notice that the front end is slimmer. The hood is actually lower than it was before. You have thinner daytime running lights and headlights, which look very Infiniti-like to my eye. You have this large grill, of course, that Lexus is known for, and these tiny little inlets on the bottom of it to let air flow from the front of the car out to the brakes to cool it down if you were ever to drive this car really spiritedly or take it to the track. And yes, I know some of you out there with IS350s or ISFs actually do drive this car hard, so I think that's kind of cool, but there's also a lot more space to grab air for the radiators, which you don't necessarily need because under the hood, you have a three and a half liter V6 making 311 horsepower. This is the same engine that they've been using for about a decade now. And I think it's time for an upgrade because if they want to keep competing with BMW on the likes of the 340i, which has quite a bit more power than this, they're going to need to switch that power plant eventually when they do a full refresh on this car. Now, when we move to the side shot, I think the car does actually look very, very good from the side with a direct side angle. And if we crop into the rear bumper, this kind of cutout looks kind of similar to the Toyota Supra to my eyes, at least. If we spin it around to the back, we'll see what looks like a Lexus ES300. I mean, look, if I got rid of the IS300 and just told you this is an ES300 sedan, you might believe it. It looks a lot bigger and wider from the rear. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm curious. Leave a comment below what you think of this new design. And we have the L-shaped taillights that connect in the middle with a red stripe going over the entire trunk, similar to a Dodge Charger sedan. Again, don't know how I feel about this, but I think it'll look pretty badass at night. If we look at the wheels, they are also now larger and wider with bigger wheel wells. The F Sport comes with 19 inch rims wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza tires. And that is your first look at the Lexus IS350 F Sport for the 2021 model year. So this doesn't seem like a fully new car. It's more of a refresh. Interesting to see that they went with this design. I think it looks kind of Camry or Corolla-like in my eyes. Curious to get your thoughts. And again, it makes sense if Lexus doesn't spend all their time on this car or a majority of it because the SUV market is definitely taking off a lot more for them. And they have quite a few SUVs which are selling like hotcakes off the lots. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want me to test drive the car, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.